Coming up on today's Airborne, the MBAA and AOPA are supporting FAA's motion to preserve the Santa Monica Airport. Beyond the Blue, the ultimate insider's guide to the X Prize revolution. And EAB option is announced for the Subsonics jet. Welcome to Airborne on Aero TV. I'm Ashley Hale. The NBAA and the AOPA have joined in the filing of a brief of Amicus Curiae supporting an FAA motion to dismiss the latest efforts to close Santa Monica Airport. NBAA President and CEO Ed Bolin said, quote, Santa Monica's latest attempt to close its community airport carries very serious ramifications for the continued viability of our nation's general aviation airports. It is imperative that the FAA maintain jurisdiction over the airport and other essential airports that our members rely upon." End quote. Last October, Santa Monica officials filed a lawsuit maintaining the city never relinquished control over airport land when it leased the property to the United States government for use as a military airfield and manufacturing base ahead of World War II. The FAA countered last month that any questions over which entity holds a title to Santa Monica Airport must be settled under the terms of the Quiet Title Act which requires such lawsuits to be filed within 12 years following learning of the federal government's interest in the property. The city has missed that deadline by 53 years. ANN will keep you posted. For aviation journalist and experienced test pilot Jim Campbell, little did he know that a chance meeting with revolutionary innovator, X-Price founder Dr. Peter H. Diamandis, would challenge him personally and professionally and lead him to share the inspiring story of the X Prize and the extraordinary people and events that surround it. In the upcoming 160-page lavishly illustrated color photo book documenting this amazing experience, Campbell's Beyond the Blue provides unparalleled access to one of the most extraordinary period in man's quest to reach for and beyond the stars. Jim's insider access and ever-present Canon cameras allowed him to catalog thousands of images, witness hundreds of incredible stories, and meet the kind of people who could not only change the world, but were well on their way to doing so. The summer of 2014 marks the beginning of a celebration of the pivotal first decade of the innovation and world-changing activism on the part of the X Prize community. Through Campbell's lens and narrative, Beyond the Blue lays it all out with the kind of visual impact that is second only to have been there yourself. The high quality 10 by 10 hardcover, four color, 160 page photo book will be made available through Aero News, X Prize, Kindred Spirit Press, and other outlets this summer. You're watching Airborne, more in a moment. ADS-V will be mandatory for most aircraft by 2020 in the United States, but you can benefit from ADS-V today with the Bendix King KT-74 Mode S Transponder. The KT-74 meets the global mandates for ADS-V out when attached to a suitable WASP GPS. Over the past two decades, no resource has compiled as much expert-valued information about the sport plane world than the Sport Plane Resource Guide. Over 1,500 pages, hundreds of aircraft, dozens of how-tos and directories. All this and more will be coming to the sport aviation world soon with the new all-electronic and updatable Sport Plane Resource Guide for your iPad, iPhone, Kindle, tablet, PC, or other electronic devices. Get your order in now www.sportplane.com Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne Aero TV, our website or our podcast, simply drop us an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Sonex Aircraft LLC has announced a new purchase option for the Subsonex personal jet. Originally offered only as an ultra-quit build kit, for experimental exhibition certification. Customers will now have the option to choose between the original exhibition kit or a new quick build kit option that is in compliant with experimental amateur build standards. The EAB version of the Subsonics quick build kit 
will still ship very complete with all the same supplied equipment as the experimental exhibition kit. However, EAB customers will have to build a few more parts of the aircraft themselves. A pending FAA National Kit Evaluation Team audit will confirm the final list of tasks required for completion by the builder. Buyers who have already submitted order deposits will have a choice of kit preference. With some 2,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the places we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Well, I grew up in a little town and there was no pilots there. Seasoned air show performer Bud Granley tells us a story and gives us insight to the air show business. Search Granley Family Air Shows Creating a Legend on Aero TV's YouTube channel. The FAA has granted a supplemental type certification to Eclipse Aerospace for both the auto throttle and anti skid brake systems for the Eclipse 550 twin engine jet. The auto throttle, developed in partnership with Innovative Solutions and Support, is a first for FAR Part 23 certificated aircraft. With the addition of auto throttle systems, Eclipse 550 pilots will be able to select the appropriate airspeed for the autopilot to maintain. And if the autopilot will automatically adjust the engine's power settings in various phases of flight. The anti-skid brake system can be retrofitted to all Eclipse 500 series aircraft with the IFMS avionics package. Testing has shown the anti-skid system will stop an aircraft under dry runway conditions and at normal landing speeds in approximately 700 feet. Airborne is brought to you by some of the best sponsors in the aviation business. We'll be right back with more news. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Aero TV, our website or podcast, drop us an email to jim at aero-news.net. What's old became new, and it's now getting even more modern. Scott's Bell 47 Incorporated will offer the Sajem Avionics ICDS 8A Glass Cockpit Suite as part of the standard avionics and instrument package for their new 47 GT6 helicopter. The ICDS 8A primary flight displays and engine monitoring system incorporate many features, including a fully configurable user defined checklist, display of primary flight and navigational information, engine management data, pop up engines with display and split map engine screen mode, display of external mounted camera and VGA inputs and a custom user database interface. The system will also record all displayed data for later review and analysis. Backup flight instrumentation is also part of the standard factory offering. The FAA has awarded a supplemental type certification to Aviation Partners Boeing for split scimitar winglets to be installed on Boeing 737-800 aircraft. The unique feature of the split scimitar winglet is that it uses the existing blended winglet structure but adds new strengthened spars, aerodynamic scimitar tips, and large ventral strake. Mike Stowell, Aviation Partners Boeing Executive Vice President and Chief Technical Officer, said, quote, We have seen record-breaking pre-certification orders on this program, including our program launch customer, United Airlines. We expect to see a dozen airlines operating split scimitar winglets in revenue service within the next couple of months." End quote. APB will develop and certify the split scimitar winglet modification for all the Boeing 737-700, 800, and 900 series aircraft 
including Boeing business jets. Well, that's our program. Remember to get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Please remember Airborne is streamed three times a week and is always online. Join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a new edition of Airborne. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.